Rebecca Stoner loves the trees in her South Minneapolis neighborhood. We moved here and we live here because of the urban forest. Three years ago, some unwelcomed visitors took a liking to these trees as well. Didn't like the fact that there were millions of, of, of um, potential gypsy moth larvae up there in the trees ready to munch on our trees. Gypsy moth caterpillars can completely defoliate and even kill a tree. An infestation was treated just across the street from Stoner's house. Fortunately, her trees were spared, but she still felt invaded. It was eerie because they told us that there were thousands and they'd shown us the egg masses. They showed us what all the, all the stages of development were in the, in the gypsy moss and the egg masses are about this week and kind of yellowish. We couldn't see anything. Those infestations, the one particular, uh, just to give you an example, had 170 male moss caught at that one location. The year just prior to that, we had 182 statewide. Kimberly Thielen Kramers is the gypsy moth coordinator for the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. The Department of Ag has primary responsibility for combating gypsy moths. Thousands of gypsy moth traps have been placed around the state to monitor for any new arrivals. In 2005, traps along Minnesota's North Shore indicated an outbreak. As soon as we find a reproducing population, we will go in and we do some type of eradication project. Proposed treatment uh, for the North Shore outbreak is tentatively scheduled for this summer. Stopping gypsy moths from moving into Minnesota won't be possible. However, natural resource agencies hope to slow their advance. I compare it to a forest fire. It's in Wisconsin, central Wisconsin. It is established. It's reproducing. But that front is kind of moving to Minnesota, and we try to put out those fires before they you know, get too large. Just one gypsy moth egg mass like this one can hold up to 1,000 eggs. The egg masses are so small that they can easily go unseen on a vehicle or pile of firewood. And one way to delay the arrival of gypsy moths in Minnesota is for travelers to make sure they don't give the insects a free lift. The longer we can delay it, the longer we have time to kind of increase the, the, the vigor and health of our stands. DNR forest health specialist Susan Burke says gypsy moths will not destroy Minnesota's forests, but they will change their composition, and that can have an even greater impact to Minnesota. There's dollars lost in tourism, there's dollars lost in the timber industry, property values. Um, you know, and then things like water quality and, and wildlife habitat that are hard to measure. The trees in Stoner's neighborhood are safe for now, but she knows an infestation could happen again. Something got here and it can get someplace else just as easily. Anybody can have an outbreak at any time. Outbreaks everyone hopes won't become the leading edge of an invasion.